So non-destructive editing has finally arrived in Audacity in the new 3.1 update. In this video, I'm going to talk about what that means exactly and how you can do it. So in previous versions of Audacity, editing has always been destructive, which means if you make an edit, then do something else afterwards, you can't go back and change that edit. And what non-destructive editing means is that when you make an edit, you can do a hundred other things and then you can still go back and, and undo that edit you do, you've done previously. And this is something that most digital audio workstations allow you to do. Audacity for the longest time hasn't. So this is a really powerful update that adds a bunch of other things as well um, as the non-destructive editing and we're going to go over what it adds in this video. So I've got Audacity 3.1 installed here and I brought it just brought in a, a, a podcast session. So right from the beginning, if you're familiar with the, the standard Audacity interface, you might notice a couple of changes. The first one being this little bar on the top of your audio clips. Now audio is treated much more like a clip now that you can work on individually, which is great. Um, so if, if you hover over this just with your standard uh, selection tool, then you'll notice this hand appears when you when you hover over the banner and it means you can just drag things around really easily you can also double click on this and change the name of clips on their own so we can you know make things a bit more easy to understand and so on but let's talk about the main part of this update the non-destructive editing so say you're editing a podcast for example and you want to pull back all of this uh, these interruptions while the first speaker is is speaking just get rid of those. If you hover over that, that top half, just with your standard tool, um, you can grab that and move it around. Now in the previous version of Audacity, you could just delete it and then you could undo if you made a mistake. But in this one, you can, you can forever just drag it back and forth. It keeps all that data there that's in the audio file. And then even if we make other changes later on, for example, I'll just make a couple of, of deletes. You don't have to go and cycle through all those old deletes. You can still just just bring that that data back. Another new feature is the ability to delete clips without affecting subsequent clips. So previously, if we deleted one of those, then the subsequent clips would be moved back to, to fill the space. Now, this could work when you're editing a podcast if you want to remove bits of bits of space, um, dead air. But if you're working on something where timing is important, you might want to um, turn this off. Well, it, it's turned off by default now. It's it's uh, it's found in the tracks uh, preference and then track behaviors. Editing a clip can move other clips. So now if we turn that off, delete a clip, it's not going to affect the subsequent clips. Another feature that's been added, which is typical of other DAWs, is we finally got a loop function. So you've got this button here, this extra button, which you won't have seen before, and it opens up this loop section. So now if we grab a section, put the cursor before it, and hit play, Sus Sus it's going to loop. And this, again, is really helpful feature. And it's really simple to use as well. And then a couple of other smaller things. We've got auto updates now, so it will come up and, and check for updates. You can turn it off if you prefer. And just reading the notes that came with the update, there's also a couple of bug fixes as well, which is always good. Now, if you saw my most wanted features video for Audacity, I'll leave a link in the description below. You know that this is one of the big features that we were hoping for. So let me know in the comments section below, what do you think of the update? Will you be downloading it and updating your version of Audacity? And for more tips and tutorials for Audacity, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.